Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. Today I am standing in the uranium processing area. Uh, we've just requested another train full of uranium ore. We've been getting through this pretty quickly. Um, we've got lots and lots of uranium-238, so I'm going to move these chests out of the way and put in another one. Uh, just so we can continue to get this stuff stored. There we go. Um, when I first came here, this chest was full, so I put another one, and now that one's full too. So, uh, But we've got 88 uranium-235 there, another 13 here. So we've got quite a lot, um, 280 fuel cells currently available. And over here at the reactor, we've got, yeah, almost 40. So uh, we'll be fine for quite a while. Um, I just reinstalled Windows on my machine. <clears throat> and as far as I can tell, it went pretty well. There were no problems. Um, Windows 10 actually has a tool that will reinstall Windows and keep all your files. Um, it does delete most of your applications, so you have to redo those, but um, but it wasn't too bad. And I keep all my Steam applications stored on a separate drive from the OS. Um, so once you reinstall Steam and tell Steam where your library is, um, then you don't even have to reinstall the games. All right. Um, let's see here. Okay, so in the last episode, we started bringing iron over here. Uh, and we now have quite a lot of it. So I just set up some belts to unload these chests. Um, I'm not going to worry about balancing the output here because I set the threshold here to only request when we need 8,000. And since 8,000 is the target, um, I think we're okay there. Uh, so it'll go down to zero, and uh, since we're going to let it go down to zero, all these chests will be empty, and it won't matter if they're, you know, if they're balanced at the same rate or not, or emptied at the same rate, I should say. All right, so I just want to bring some iron plate down here so we can start doing some nuclear reprocessing. I'm going to pull this up for now. Okay, maybe I'm not. Let's see. Why do I have so much junk? Okay, I've got a lot of yellow belts, so I'm going to try to... I'll just get rid of all of those. Hopefully that'll give me enough space to do stuff. Alright, and then this I'm going to move out of the way, because that's a lot of stacks. I don't have enough room for it. Okay. There we go. And then we have some used up fuel cells. All right, so I have a centrifuge here. I'm not sure where to put this yet, but... Um, actually, before I do that, let's set up the... Let's set up the creation of the fuel cells, which is what I was doing here before. Um, all right, so we can bring this down We'll set this to make uranium fuel cells. I'm also going to have the option to make plutonium fuel cells once I get plutonium from reprocessing, but I don't, I don't have that available yet. Okay. There we go. Let me load this up with the productivity. So we'll just have this run until that gets full. Since uh, since we're using the nuclear fuel mod, we don't need 
we don't need Covarex enrichment anymore. I'll do a fast one there. We don't need to do Covarex enrichment, so I don't, and since I'm not using any nuclear ammo or anything, I don't really care if I accumulate lots of uh, uranium-235. I don't need to hold on to it for anything else. Okay, so we've got that going. Now I want to set up a little something to reprocess the spent fuel cells. Okay, so we've got nuclear fuel reprocessing. It takes five used up cells and it gives us three uranium-238 and 25% chance for some plutonium. Let's get some more power over here. Like that. Let's throw in a light. Okay, so this can be in and that can be out. And that doesn't need any other ingredients. That's rather slow. 50 seconds, okay. Actually, why don't we put the output over on this side. I might need to change the layout here once I figure out what I'm doing. Whoops. I'll put the output on that side and actually that can be a slow inserter too. Okay, because if I get if I get plutonium, I'm going to want to take it out of the chest to do something with it. And the 238, I should send back here to the uranium 238 storage. Um, and I do need a smarter way to manage this storage. I think I have an idea. again okay so I'm gonna have this empty onto a belt over and what I'm going to do is get these so that there we go Isn't it supposed to work that way? I thought these were able to pull from a belt that's passing by. Okay, I thought I saw somewhere where these could pull from a belt like this. I guess that's not the case. And I have no idea what this what the arrows on this thing mean. Like where where are those arrows pointing? I think that means it's going in. Or 
right? So that that works, obviously. Okay, well, never mind. Um, I suppose we could do this with inserters just as easily. Okay, and I wish this one wasn't there. And we can put one here. All right. And then we can put the same thing on the opposite side. So this gives us a little more storage available. And I'll actually just replace these with yellows. All right, that ought to work. Okay, so we got one plutonium. So let's see what plutonium fuel cells do for us. For plutonium, we need iron, plutonium, and uranium-238. Okay. So in that case, let's put that up here. And what I'll do is I'll put a filter inserter. Actually, let's make two filter inserters so we can make this a little more elegant. All right, so that's gonna make plutonium fuel cells. And we'll just put those into another chest. Um, So I have one filter inserter going in here. How many 238s does it take? 19. Actually, I don't even need a filter inserter. Well, maybe I do. Because it takes 19 uranium 238. Um, and this only gives us three, which means I'm going to need a belt to bring more over here. And I wouldn't want the machine to get filled up with uranium-238, not be able to empty this one, and then this one will stop because it's full. Okay. So I'm going to do a splitter here. Just do a small pull. No, I guess I'll do a. Here, let's just move this one. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to use the filter inserters. So I'll set this so that the plutonium inserts directly. There's the plutonium. And now that I think about this some more, I should probably have that go into a chest first. So that we can continue to process even when I don't need the fuel. Okay. And then the 238 will come in there. Iron will come in from there. I'm out of steel chests. Okay, we'll make a wood one for now. Okay, and there we'll make the plutonium fuel cells. Now plutonium fuel has four gigajoules these have eight gigajoules. So the plutonium fuel cells are only going to burn half as long. And since I'm controlling all the reactors as a unit, um, we're gonna have to set something up so that we only use, 
we need to set it up so that we always use the same fuel type over there for the reactors. Whoops, what did I do up here? There we go. Uh, because if I mix them and you know, if my first if my first reactor here gets a uranium fuel cell and some of the other ones have plutonium, uh, the plutonium's gonna run out, but it won't insert more fuel because this one will still have uranium in it. So I'm gonna need to make sure that they all use the same fuel type. And we can do that later on by setting up, we can set up requester chests, the requester chests for the fuel. Um, we can set those up so that they pull in, um, we can set them to request whatever fuel we have the most of, for example. Or we can have the chest request both. Yeah, in fact, I think a better way would be to set it on the inserter, uh, set the filter on the filter inserter, and I can show you how we would do that. So uh, we can hook up a combinator. It would be a decider combinator, right? And so if we're gonna tell it uh, plutonium, or no, I, it would actually be plutonium fuel cells. So if we want to tell it to use plutonium, we set these, we would set the stack size to one and mode of operation set filters. Hmm. No, that's not going to work because we also need enable and disable mode. All right. So I'll have to figure out something for how we can do that. All right, in the meantime, let me go and pick up the other spent fuel cells. I might as well load up on uranium while I'm here. Take that with me. And eventually we'll get the bots to do this. Okay, wrong chest. There we go. Okay, so I think we're all set up there. That's looking pretty good. Um, hit Shift E. Getting close to getting a productivity boost. All right, so I think we're done there. I don't think we need to stand around and watch it anymore. Um, I wasn't expected to expecting to finish it that quickly though. So now I have to think of something else to do for the next 11 minutes. But that won't be a problem because we always have a lot to do. Um, let's check on our iron. Yeah, I, let's see. Yeah, I, I saw somewhere where a belt was going by a mini loader and the loader was able to pull material off the belt. I wonder if that's an option. Let me see if there's uh, mini loader options. No. Hmm. Guess not. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well. Um. 
speaking of options, uh, it was mentioned in the comments that there's a way finish loading. Okay. Prevents trains from leaving while inserters pumps are working by adding two seconds of inactivity condition. If it's true. If I set it to false, the trains will leave immediately when all items have been loaded. So, uh, where I have the, where I have the circuit control on the inserters loading the iron plates or the mini loaders loading the iron plates, uh, if I disable that condition, then as soon as then the train will leave as soon as it hits the correct quantity that it needs to have. So it'll it'll take out that um, it'll take out that condition where it waits for two seconds of inactivity. So as soon as it gets the quantity that it needs, the train will leave, and that'll make it faster. And then I won't have to bother with these circuits. So I think I'm going to try that. All right, so let's go and uncheck that. And then we'll go to the smelting area and I'll remove the logic conditions on the mini loaders. And then when we're done with that, I think the next thing that we could probably do is start start configuring a copper smelting area. Um, I can see now that our main our main iron patch in the main base uh, just popped up because it's below twenty percent of its initial capacity or initial quantity. I guess you could say. So we're down to 455,000. Ah, that's what I want to work on now. I want to bring in I want to bring in more iron ore to the main base. Now eventually I want to bring plates to the main base, but only after I've mined this out. So while as long as I'm mining this, I do want to bring in additional ore so that I can get full belts because this is really slowing down my whole factory, especially on steel. That's why the research is taking so long. So let's we'll we'll do that right after we're done with what I'm going to do here. I wonder if there's a way to remove circuit wires. Hmm. No, they're not selectable. Yeah, it would be cool if you could filter for circuit wires and then remove all the circuit wires. All right, so I'm going to have to pick all these up. I mean, I don't have to pick them up, but to me that's easier than removing all the wires one by one. All right, so I'll just pick all these up and then I'll put them back down again. All right. All right, so if I press F, yeah, okay. So that's in the right place. And we'll just put all those back. Whoops, let's try that again. There we go. I need to be more patient. Click, click. The old uh, woodworker's motto, measure twice, cut once. It's good advice. All right, so I can remove that. And then I can also take out this little green section of wire. Okay, so I am interested to see that working. Um, but I think I'm gonna have to wait because <laughs> I'm not gonna need any iron plates up there for a long time. 
All right, so let's go back to the main base and put in an iron ore receiving station. Actually, I'm just gonna send this back. I'll take the plane back. It'll probably be faster. There's an afterburner that you can research for the aircraft mod, but it seems like it only works with the military planes. It would be cool if you could put it on the cargo plane. Although, I don't really use this for hauling stuff around that much, so maybe I should just make one of the military planes. I'm glad I wasn't standing on the tracks. I haven't researched any of them yet. Uh, where are they? Gunships. I could do it. And they have an equipment grid. I could put roboports in it. Hmm, that is awfully tempting. Is that the only one I have access to? And then there's jets. Looks like that's high speed. Um, I wonder if they have any cargo capacity at all. All right, well, let's make one. Um, can I make five rocket launchers? Yep. Five submachine guns. All right, I'm going to override this uh, research order here, and I'm going to research gunships. Why is it saying it's unavailable? Oh, because I need military three. Okay, do that. All right, so I am going to need bulk rail unloaders. Eight of them. There's eight. Perfect. Um, let's see. So where could we put it? Maybe right here next to where the stone is. That seems like that would be a good place. And then I can just... I can just bring the belts over and mix it with what I'm getting from the patch here. I'll set the priority, the input priority on the splitters for that patch. Okay, uh, there we go, gunships. Let's do this. We'll see, if it doesn't work, I haven't lost too much in the way of materials. Um, yeah, I'll take the plane over there. Let me grab some track. I have a lot of signals. I, I think this is all that I'm going to need. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this station minus the acid specific stuff. So we'll take out the tanks, take out the pumps. I'm gonna take out the constant combinator and the arithmetic combinator. Actually, I can remove that one from there too. All right. And then let's see if we can paste this over here. Right between those two pipes. Like that, that looks like a good spot. There, let's try this. I'm not completely convinced that this is the right place, but if not, it'll be easy enough to fix. Okay, what's our problem here? We actually don't need that signal. Well, we do need it. We just need to move it. All right, let's get rid of some trees. <laughs> I love that mod. That was a great recommendation. <laughs> All right.
I'm getting some funny stuttering in my graphics. I might need to reboot my machine a few more times. Let's see, and that goes that way. Inventory full. No, it's not. Give me those belts. There we go. Okay, I need more Nixie tubes. Four of those. And it would be nice to have some power. There we go. We'll put that in the proper position. Uh, why do I see two red wires there? Oh, okay. One's going to the Nixie tubes. All right, and then the other one... Yeah, the other one we want going directly into that light. Okay, so we're going to call this main iron. Um, let's set this to measure iron ore. I'm not sure, is, is five Nixie tubes enough? I can't remember how much they hold. I think it is enough. Looks like 62,000. Let's check the coal. All right, well, that one's not filling up. All right, I'll add another one just in case. They're cheap. Okay. Oh, let's pick that up. And now I need to put in the unloaders. There. Okay. And then I'm just going to delete all of this track. I'll copy that. Actually, before we do that, let's um, let's hook up our circuit. No, I'll hook up the circuit wires when we're done. All right, yeah, so we'll just hook up like that. So that's two, four, six, and eight. Wow, was I precise on the... Removing those rails or what? Okay, and then it would be convenient to have it exit on this side. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get some deliveries set up here. All right, so we're going to limit this to one train. We want a minimum length of 12. So we want the big trains. Um, provide threshold, I'm going to set to a very high number so that no matter how much ore I have here, nobody sees this as a place to pick up ore. And then for the quantities, I'm going to put in the request at 32,000 which is two trains. And I'm going to put in the request threshold at 16,000. Right? So it'll look for so it'll look for two trains full and when it gets down to one train's full left it'll request another train. And we go ahead and hook that up. And now we get a request. And hopefully we have lots of iron ore. Yep. It's full. Okay. So um, I'm just going to use the yellow mini loaders on the outputs here because I'm going to be merging into four red belts anyway. So eight, eight yellows will go into one red. All 
All right. Yeah. And there's nothing in there yet, of course. Um, let's see. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah. So I think I'll have them come up like here. That needs to be that needs to be a red splitter, actually. Okay, and then this one we can do right there. Let's move it a little bit closer. Ah, sorry, miss clicking. here there we go and then I'll just run red belts the rest of the way Let's see if we can move that one more yep Okay. Oops. Okay. I forgot to wire in how much we had here. There we go. All right. Well, I'm going to get more than I need for a while. Okay. So let's take it up there. Okay, now this down here, I can probably, I can probably shrink down to two belts. there too. Let's pick that up. 
All right, and let's see if we have a six to four splitter. I'm pretty sure we do. Six to four. Okay, and I'm actually gonna wanna put it, let's get rid of some of these train tracks. Okay. Right there. All right, so how am I going to put the priority on these? Um, I can do it with circuits. Or maybe I just let it run. Um, I mean, it'll still keep pulling this out. It'll just take longer to mine it out this way. Uh, let's see, how can I do that? All right, well, let's try this. Let's try it. All right, so I'm gonna set these to read contents and hold. Okay, and I'm gonna put something here because I wanna read what values I'm getting. So it's around 10. So I think one tile holds eight items, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, we can check that by letting this back up so it gets full. All right, forget the light. 16. Yeah, so a full tile holds eight items. So I can tell these to turn on if iron ore is less than... I don't know, let's say less than 14 to give it a little margin of error. All right, so if these belts aren't full, it'll turn on the other belts. And that should hopefully give us saturated belts on the output. Now these belts don't look saturated to me. I think to saturate it, I would need to have some of these completely full input belts over on this side. Okay, so then as long as this is flowing freely, uh, in other words, everything that's getting put on these belts is going through, then that's fine because that means that we'll, we'll be mining this out as fast as possible. Right, but if it starts to get backed up, these will these two belts will get full and then it'll shut these off until the backup clears. Or maybe I could have these turn on anytime these are not full. Oh, I think this is okay. Anyway, uh, I've, I think I've gone way over our time. So, Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.